Crashes cause thousands of traffic jams each year as police first have to investigate the accident before they can clear the road. But now a new laser scanner could help ease the congestion. It works by creating a detailed 3D record of the crash scene in just minutes. Ben Ando reports. Even on the test track, it's shocking. Car crashes wreck lives, and when it's not test dummies but real adults and children involved, the road becomes a crime scene. But closing major routes is estimated to cost the economy a billion pounds a year and cause frustration for the many innocent drivers caught up in any resulting jam. Examining the scene is what takes the time. There's nothing on the roof at all. At this aerodrome, police are being shown a new laser scanner that records in minutes what used to take hours. In one single four-minute sweep, this 3D laser scanner can plot more than 30 million individual points of data down to a resolution of less than a millimetre. And typically, they'd scan four times at any collision to give themselves a complete 3D image that they can look at later. The 3D scan can be examined from every angle and is so accurate they can take measurements they might have missed at the scene. But the scanner can only record an image, not reveal what caused the crash. The collision investigator still needs to examine the scene and identify everything, all the evidence that he needs. But the uh, reality is that when we survey the scene uh, with a scanner, uh, what it does give us is the opportunity to produce um, a more comprehensive uh, plan or if we require it, a uh, full fly-through uh, and point of views from witnesses uh, for the court's benefit. Focusing on major routes, ministers are spending £3 million, which, when matched by the police, will make more than 20 scanners available across England, though not yet in Scotland and Wales. It's absolutely money well spent. We need growth. That means I need my motorways working better. I need them open. I need to sweat the assets what you have. So investing £3 million in here to actually offset the £1 billion that we're losing must be a great. Back on the track, the testing continues. Cars are better and roads safer. Last year saw the lowest number of fatalities on Britain's roads since records began in 1926. And while the human cost of any serious accident can be immeasurable to those involved, minimising the impact on everyone else will, it's hoped, drive the economy and help growth. Ben Ando, BBC News, Surrey. The Disasters Emergency Committee, which represents 14...